Welcome back. Louis Gohmert is a Republican congressman from Texas. He also recently survived and recovered from his battle with coronavirus. Congressman, thank you so much for, for coming on um, sure. here. Have you spoken with the president? I haven't, not since uh, we found out about the diagnosis last night. Uh, but uh, we've talked about it numerous times in the past, including uh, when he called me after he found out I tested positive. He called me from uh, Air Force One on the way back from Texas. So, yeah, he. so I know he's getting the best medical care and advice, and uh, I feel quite certain, as he's recommended, uh, the hydroxychloroquine regimen seems to minimize the symptoms. It certainly did help me. Yeah. And uh, uh, also, I don't know if he's doing the uh, steroid nebulizer, but that seems to protect the lungs uh, and do a great job helping out there. But uh, I really, I feel better than I did before I had the COVID, uh, or as he refers to it accurately as the Chinese virus. Uh, so I am betting that he's going to come out on the other side uh, doing quite well and having some immunity from it. And uh, I'm, I uh, have antibodies. I've already given plasma. And uh, I've let uh, the White House know through his chief of staff that I'd be glad to provide antibodies uh, if the president so desired. I'm also the universal uh, blood donor, so that ought to be able to work anyway. Yeah, well, our thoughts and prayers are with the president and first lady at this time. As, as you say, you know, you have overcome uh, this virus here. But of course, as you know, we're in the middle of a campaign season. It makes you wonder yes. how this will impact the campaign. Yeah, it's a great question. Uh, you know, with Bernie Sanders, uh, he did better not going on the campaign trail. He seemed to go up in the polls in the Democratic primary when he stayed off the campaign trail. But with uh, President Trump, the more people see him in person and hear from him, uh, the better he does. So uh, it could hurt the campaign with him being unable to get out there for a couple of weeks. But hopefully that will go quickly and he'll be able to do things, uh, you know, from his quarantine to, to keep up the campaign because we desperately need him to be reelected. Congressman, remind me, jog my memory. What, I know I talked to you before about this, but what were the yeah. symptoms you experienced or were you asymptomatic? I was asymptomatic when I was tested, which was a terrific help. And I also think that bodes well for the president, first lady. Uh, because I tested positive so soon before I even had any symptoms, just because I was supposed to go with the president on Air Force One, uh, I think that helped me start uh, the ACQ regimen, lots of zinc and vitamin D and all that so quickly. I think that really did help minimize my symptoms. I only had a couple of days of uh, achiness, shakiness, no fever ever, never lost sense of taste or smell or the other bad um, uh, effects like on the lungs. So it, I had a, a minimal case of it and I think it was due to getting the diagnosis so quick, so quickly and also taking the uh, regimen uh, of medication so quickly. So I really feel like he, since he's the one that recommended these things, that he ought to come out pretty well himself. Yes, we're and, hoping. As well. Yeah, of course, yeah. hoping for the best. Uh, monitoring Twitter feeds as well, waiting to see if perhaps he will send an update. Congressman, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you both.